Previously, we had taken this interesting ferry from St. Martin to the rather unique Dutch island of Sabre, where we had some great diving in their well-protected marine park and a wonderful trek around the volcanic peak. In this video, we sail just 10 miles north from St. Martin to Anguilla, where we explore the island's beautiful beaches and resorts. Leaving St. Martin. And sailing to Anguilla over there. Just six, seven miles. Very gusty. 20 knots of wind. Rift Main and Genoa. sailing again. 17 to 22 knots of wind on the beam we're just aft sitting at 8.8 .8. it's the impeller's got some weed on it because it's at least a knot slower and still only in 13 meters of water. Lovely. Maybe got a little bit too much out all out. Anyway we're nicely off the wind taking the Far to go, it's only seven miles to the tip there, probably six now. Coming into Anguilla, pretty exciting wind, 22 to 25 knots. We just need to nip round this little island at the end, which is aptly called Anguilla Island. And then it's going to be hard on the wind. Let's see how that goes. Once we'd gone past the Anguilita rocks on the west end, we could have just motored up the lee shore, but we decided to have a nice windward sail for once, taking one big starboard tack offshore, and then a port tack back into Road Bay, passing Sandy Island on the way. We are bashing up wind now, trying to get to Road Bay. this or motoring so we decided sailing. It's a little bit wet out there. Nothing like a nice windward sail to get your juices going. Apart from one I she's not particularly happy. Trolling along in a nice six, seven knots. Bashing into the sea a bit. Of the game. Quite a nasty squall cloud here, I don't know what that's going to do. Pretty well reefed. Not much of the main out. But you know we're on the last reef dot. We should really have the cutter out to be honest. Spilling lots of wind on the main too, but it's powering us through the waves. Rope Bay is really the only safe anchorage on Anguilla, and also the port of entry for customs and immigration. dog in front of the immigration office. We are checked in. And 
exploring the island. Anguilla Island is a British overseas territory. It had previously been governed by the independents in Kitts and Nevis, but in 1969 the locals voted against this governance and returned to being part of the United Kingdom. This low coral island measures just 25 kilometers long by 5 kilometers at its widest point. The main town is The Valley, but like most towns in the Caribbean, it's certainly not the highlight of the island. The highlights for us were the Anguillan people, who we found extremely polite and very easy going, and of course its incredible beaches along with some rather exclusive resorts. The best beaches were in the western end and also one in the north. There were beaches on the windward side, but like so many islands they suffer from sargassum wheat deposits arriving with the Atlantic trade winds. Hello. We are off on another driving tour. Anguilla this time. The long, thin island. Let's see how we get on around here. Lots of beaches, hopefully. And we hope to bump into some superstars. Yeah, better be. Other than me and you. Our first stop was on the cliff top with a great view down over Road Bay. Nice view looking down on Road Bay. Sandy Island in the distance we came past yesterday. It's cloudy sitting right in the middle of the bay. Behind the housing is a the usual salt pan. Slightly further west we headed to a newly built boutique hotel at the end of Long Bay. Here we got our first taste of a beautiful Anguillan beach. A really beautiful reception. Look at this. Out into quite a view. Little dining table with a view. Look at that. Beautiful gardens in this new hotel. Lovely, eh? Only eight rooms. This has to be the most exquisite looking hot tub I've ever seen. Such a unique design. Same with the swimming pool. Really beautiful ceramics. We've found ourselves a little beach access. Wana is going down to investigate. What you found? Nice beach? Amazing. Oh yes. Wow. Oh yes, what a nice beach. This is what Anguilla has the reputation to have. White sand, turquoise water. Some nice properties here. The next bay along was Meads Bay, with its very sheltered beach. Very nice tranquil swimming area, considering it's 20 knot winds offshore there. And this is Mead Bay, another beautiful white beach backed by quite a few villas here. Karimar Beach Club was one of the more down-to-earth resorts, but still very nice. At the end of Meads Beach is the wonderful Four Seasons Resort. We'll take a flight down the beach to see it.
entrance road leads us up to the hotel. And very interesting architecture once inside. cocktail lounge jutting out into the sea, which we came back to a few evenings later. We can see here how the hotel is perched on the rocky outcrop between the two beaches. over there. This is the other end of Barnes Bay. Very nice beach here also. As we drove to the western tip of the island, the roads got very sketchy. But our good lady from Google Maps still seemed to know exactly where to go. Turn left. Are they driving or? Going around to the south coast, our first stop was a Cap Yuluka Hotel. Let's have a flight down towards it. You can see here how the sargassum weed is affecting these windward beaches. Kapchaluka Hotel is built in a very Arabic style. It reminded us of our days in UAE in Oman. Another spectacular bay. Beautiful. Now let's continue that flight for a little bit before we come back to the hotel. resort. One is sort of style. Your style? Uh, very much so. Yeah, it's lovely isn't it? Lovely. Nice little apartments, nice beach. Next along is a Cuisine Art Golf Resort in Rendezvous Bay. Later on we come back to this bay for a beach day and kite surfing. Next beach along on the south side. Looking just over to St Martin where we came from yesterday. Marigot. Just a beautiful bay here. I think this is Rendezvous Bay. Just amazing sand. The next day we explored the east end of the island starting with Crocus Bay and Little Bay. This is one bay north of where we've anchored called Crocus Bay. Not quite so nice as some of the other ones we've seen. Still a nice beach, not quite so white. We've walked our way down to Little Bay, which really is a Little Bay. Spectacular house on the cliff. 
and a few mooring buoys. And to get down to Little Bay, it looks like sheer rock climbing onto a very little beach. Looks like a very nice place to snorkel and chill. Further along, after a drive through the valley town, we come to the beautiful beach of Shoal Bay. Away from the hotels, this is how the island looks like inside. Colourful and shabby chic. As everywhere in the Caribbean, there is quite the visual contrast between local villages and the tourist areas. This is the Zimi Beach Resort on a very nice beach, long beach. Big rollers coming in. Just amazing colours of this water. It's like Bahamas. Unlike other hotels, this Zimi Beach seems to be pretty busy. Very nice pool into the sea. One thing about a nice hotel is it always seems to be very nicely decorated. I guess they have their design artists. This is the cocktail lounge. Looking onto the pool. They must have a fire in the middle of these pits at night, look. Nice feature. This is the other end of Shoal Bay. With the Manoa Boutique Hotel. Looking down to where we were before. We now drove around the top of the island and down the windward side to Windy Bay and Sandy Hill Bay. Now on the northern tip of the island, this is Windward Bay. As usual, a lovely bay for kiting, but covered in sargosa weed. That's very nice. Sandy Hill Bay. Not much here. decided to come back to the Four Seasons. Over our expensive cocktails we discussed the merits of five-star lifestyle. What do you think of the show so far? Could you really handle this five-star life? Hmm? Hmm? It's a little bit over the top, isn't it, really? Relaxing day on the beach, kite surfing, sunbathing, sunblasting. Glenn is in full swing. Wow, that was a good flush. Thank you, Glenn. Here is another demonstration of how not to jump. I'm sure all the videos so far have just been of that nutter kiting. So, not to give a little bit of work. Having a beach day. Second one. Second beach day. Very nice beach this too. Especially with the beach bunny on it. Unfortunately, due to accidental deleting on our PC, we lost the rest of our Anguilla video clips after this one. So our next video will start in a few days in Virgin Gorda in the British Virgin Islands.